What's up, love and junkies? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ah, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. That was totally not planned. I don't know where that came from. Of course I know where it came from. It right. came from B-Love. B-Love's Live. Today we are trying our mild mm. sauce. We've had this packet for a while. We've been wanting to try it. And then Christmas came and mm -hmm. got in the way. So we're super, super, super excited. We're going to talk to you a little bit about what we have and um, start eating. Yeah. So. Can't wait. So. Do you want to show the packet? Yeah. So this is the sauce that we got. We ordered it from Amazon. There's a hot and a mild, but this family can eat the spicy. Right. And I can't eat the spicy. So we thought error on the side of caution with mild. Right. We got the mild. Um, I spice mine up a little bit, so I have mine in a separate bowl. So, yeah. Plus that way we can dip, double dip. Dip, dip. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> we want to do. Right. Okay, so how did you make it? Well, I followed the directions on the back. Uh, medium saucepan, four sticks of unsalted butter. So this mix is so good, I'm sure. A whole whole thing. Pound of butter. Mm-hmm. Um, half an onion. Uh, we had a small onion, so I just used the whole thing. So it's three quarters cup of minced garlic. That's a okay. lot of garlic. That's fine by me. Yeah, I love garlic. Uh, three quarters cup pickled ginger. Okay. Um, the pack pouch of Smackalicious sauce, one cup of chicken broth, um, and then you can use four ounces of Coke as optional. I used the four ounces of Coke. Mm. Wanted to get the full effect. That's so different. Yeah, and a tablespoon of vinegar. And then for mine, uh, after I let that cook, it says boil until the, the vegetables are translucent. I let that cook together. I separated mine out into a separate pot, and then I put uh, serrano peppers in there. Mm. So, so B Love, if you don't know who she is, she is the queen of mukbangs. Yeah. Her and her family. Actually, we didn't find them mukbanging. We no. found them doing more things similar to our channel. Yeah, doing first, Bean Boozled yeah. was the first ever video we watched. Right. And then we started kind of following them. Uh, she has a channel. Both her sons have channels, her husband has a channel, her son's girlfriend has a channel, and so everybody has a channel. Um, but they do a lot of mukbangs, daily mukbangers, all of them. And uh, so there's different versions of what they eat with this sauce. We try to do a little bit of almost all of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so there are some versions where we see that they have like potatoes and eggs, cucumbers, rice, sausage. The sausage. Oh, go get it. <laughs> so we have all the things. So some people do rice. Yep. Sausage. Yep. Cucumbers. Yep. We've done that. We added some peppers. One of the things I've been most curious to try the sauce with is eggs. I always see her dipping eggs right. in the sauce. Um, rice. It sounds really good with that. We had some grits on hand, so yeah. we're gonna try it with grits because that just sounds good to me. Tomato and Grits goes well together. Yeah, we got some, a little bit of our leftover steak from uh, Christmas, and we got some shrimp. We have potatoes, we have carrots. We have a rotisserie <laughs> chicken. We have all the things! So we're gonna give you, like always, uh, our honest opinion. Right. We're just gonna get in and give it a try. So here's what it looks like. It's pretty thick. Yeah, it separates a little bit. So, oops, did I just, yep. <laughs> Thank goodness for paper towels. Um, so what do you want to try with it first? Oh, I don't know. I just say we, as they say on um, Dalvin's channel, let's get it, get it in. It in. <laughs> well, absolutely 100%. She is known for her seafood boils. Yeah. So I'm going to go seafood first. All right, let's try it. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that's what I want to do first. Some shrimps. Whoops. Drop some shrimps. I'm nervous. I'm going to be timid because oh boy. I don't know how spicy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's too much for me. No, it's not. Um, one thing on 
We love Tamil. She does not use napkins or wipe off at all. But it's I'm good going to. Sometimes she has a wristband and she'll. Oh. Uh huh. That's really good with shrimp. I like it. Yeah, that's good. I'm going potato. That was our nice. first taste ever of the smackalicious sauce. Mm hmm. I'm going potato now and has some of the stuff. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We also tried, we had some little French bread. So we thought we'd try, see what bread's like dipped in it. It's really good. I mean, a pound of butter, how can it not? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to describe. Very garlicky. Mm -hmm. uh, mine's got that kick, they got that spice in it. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Um, but delicious. It's good. Mm, how, is that an egg? I can't tell yeah, anymore. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an egg. By the way, for this video, we did eggs in the Instant Pot for the first time. How did you find the eggs to peel? They look perfect. They peeled very easily, but it was, uh, I don't know. Have you tried it? You just tried it. Yeah, I'm trying it. That seemed a little overdone, but... Was it five minutes? It was more than that, I think. Oh, they were supposed to be five minutes. Yeah, our, um, we have an Instant Pot knockoff. I mean, it's a popular brand. I don't know what it is, but, but it's, it's not, not Instant, Instant Pot. Brand. And so you can't really like set the time Cooking on times it. may vary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but easy to peel. Yeah. Is what they say. It was definitely easy to peel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta try the potato. Oh, you haven't tried that yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Guess who didn't silence their phone. Oh, man, I'm slopping all over the place. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't mess up our wood table. <laughs> now I'm going cucumber. That's one of the things that I thought was a little odd. Mm -hmm. She loves cucumbers. In fact, she puts cucumbers on tacos, and we think that's kind of strange. And pickles. And, and pickles, yeah. So, I didn't say cucumbers before pickles. But. I wouldn't think cucumbers for this. I would think, I don't know, potato chips before I would think of cucumbers. Yeah. All but right. Let's give it a cucumbers shot. Cucumbers are good. We're going to try. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I could imagine when I first saw them eating cucumbers, I was like, what? Tell you what, we're getting ready to That's not bad. go back on our diet after the holidays. And cucumbers are a good, healthy vegetable, which is probably why she started eating them. I would imagine. Maybe. Um, so that's a good little alternative. We don't have to... We can make up a make up some sauce and mm -hmm. cucumbers is something we can have. And we can have the seafood, we can have the chicken, we can have the sausage, we can't have the grits, we can't have the rice, we gotta or the bread. We gotta fill up on all that. Man, the uh, the rice is really good with it. Mm. Definitely. Whew. Man. Sweating a little bit. It's really good. I'm going grits now. Ooh, I bet that'd be good. You want some yet or no? Nice cheesy grits. Uh, sure. Here, power <clears around. throat> A lot. Oh, that's just, good. I'll just give it a shot. Okay. I kind of want to figure out like, what my favorite is and then go back to that. So, is this all of the sauce or did it make more than this? Um, you have some more left. I have like all the stuff that I had for the hot yeah i put it all in this bowl okay but yeah there's some more left okay no oh, just the regular okay just in case they're curious how much the sauce makes Ooh, i like it with the grits <laughs> it's good with the grits for sure mm -hmm.
That's good. With the bread. You tried it with bread? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, now that I'm eating it with grits, I bet it'd be good with eggs. I'm, I know we had it with those kind of eggs. I mean, scrambled eggs. Mm. Like in the morning, I bet yeah. that'd be good. I would be good. I'm gonna try a little bit of this steak. Oh yeah, I forgot. All right, so topic of discussion while we're eating, we can keep eating and we'll tell you what we think here at the end. So far, so good though. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna talk about some of our favorite things. We are not Oprah, <laughs> but we have favorite things. We do? Um, yeah. All right. So the first thing we want to talk about, since we just talked about B-Love and her family, oh, I'm going to go peppers now, um, are some of our favorite YouTubers, not just YouTubers, but what do we like to watch on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We watch some... Peppers Rope. Boot bongs or mukbangs or whatever you want to call them. Depends on if you're in Korea or America, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, we do watch them. We, the kinds of things we like to watch, we watch a lot of food, I would say. Mm -hmm. Especially when we're doing keto, we go to YouTube for inspiration. Not one particular channel, but just look up different recipes and stuff. Um, we like art, so sometimes we'll watch different techniques or tutorials or stuff on art. Full shower. Mm. We like healthy junk food. Yeah, they're fun. Mm -hmm. They did that one chip challenge. My gosh, you gotta see it. You gotta see it because JP he did what four, three and a half mm -hmm. of those one chip challenge chips. Yeah, Whew. that yeah. took him out. <laughs> yeah. Um. So they're an eating channel, but they they also cook too. But and they travel. They travel to different countries and then try all the things. So they go to. Burger King in Vietnam or <laughs> whatever and they yeah. just show how different countries have basically they go to different countries and try American restaurants in other countries. Right. That's not all they do, but they do a lot of that. They sure do. Um we like Good Mythical Morning a yeah, lot. They're hilarious. Um we like the Try Guys a lot. Mm -hmm. Um we like channels that do food a lot of times in a different way. Not that we don't like your regular old cooking, whatever, but the food challenges and um, trying new products and, you know, the people that do, like, for example, the people that do um, letting the person in front of me decide what I'm going to order or um, eating cold foods hot or eating nothing but chicken sandwiches for a day. Right. Like those kind of different tweaks on food. Mm -hmm. We also get invested in some of these family vlogs mm -hmm. uh, family vlog channels and so we're like wondering what's going to happen here in a couple days with youtube like because they have kids and right do you ever watch um like eight passengers is one of the channels and she uh, the mom is from a youtubing family her her family youtube's going rice now i haven't tried that yet Mm, it's good. So her and her husband and her family YouTube, and her daughter has a YouTube channel, but then all of her siblings have a YouTube channel. She's one of five, and her parents have a YouTube channel, and so the parents are going to be okay because, you know, they're older than we are, um, but the other ones all feature kids in their channel, so we're kind of wondering yeah, how that, what's, what's going to happen. Because, you know, we heard a little bit about that, but... You know, the details are a little vague. Mm -hmm. We see that some of the family vlog channels are starting, uh, like, new channels with the parents. Or the oldest kids. Yeah, the oldest kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be sad, because, like, if some of that goes away, which I don't understand why, but... Um, so if you have any details, put it down in the comments, because, like, we watch Weiss Life. Oh, I love Jeff Weiss. He's hilarious. Yeah. And, and the girls. And too. the girls and like, you know, Gretchen's one of your favorites. And, you know. If, and she's six. Right. So like, it come the start of the new year, if she's not going to be on anymore, that would be sad. Because I think the threshold is 13. So, but some of the other family vloggers that have older kids are not going to be affected. Will you 
grab me some chicken, please? Yeah, you want a leg? Mm-hmm. There we go. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, what else do we watch on YouTube? Mm. We're we love to play board games. Yeah. And so oh, yeah. we watch a lot of uh you know how people like us go to YouTube for recipes? We go to Board Game Geek a lot and some other mm. um YouTube channels. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh to watch games played to see if it's something that we're gonna wanna do. Right. Or, you know, if it's too complicated or or like for example, we got new games for Christmas. We went and watched tutorials. We had the directions and we read the directions too, but sometimes it sinks in when you watch somebody play it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's go with chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't stand like stuff all over my hands and fingers. And <laughs> so that's kind of our favorite YouTubers. Of course, we have our smaller YouTuber friends that we watch. And we try to support. Ooh, I want a sausage too. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, everything you grab, I'm like, ooh, I want to go. <laughs> so next, what's your favorite color? My favorite color? I love. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite? <laughs> I love the color black. Mm. That's my favorite. I know what your favorite color is. You do? Yeah. What is it? It's green. It is green. It's always been green. Mm -hmm. mm, green was my fun. grandpa's favorite uh, color, and it was everywhere in his house, and I think that's... I stole it from him. Mm. Alright. What is your favorite band, or our favorite band? Well... I know that your favorite band is Queen. Always has been. Yeah. Always will be. And we got to go see Queen in New Orleans. So that was fun. With Adam Lambert. Yeah. Mm. There's there's several that are kind of a close second for different reasons. You know? But favorite, favorite Queen. I would say that you have really turned me on to Coldplay. Mm -hmm. So I think right now that they're my favorite. I would love to see them in concert. Yes, please tour. Yeah. Maybe not for another year or so. He's got to... Chris Martin has to figure out how to be sustainable with it. Yeah. I love him as a human being. I love them as a band. Yeah. Uh, they're fun to watch. They put on a show. But I also like uh, the lyrics and... Yeah, it's know. like... The, the lyrics really get me sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what, when we started watching like some of their concerts on YouTube and they had the lyrics on the screen, you know, that was something. Some, some songs are really deep. Yeah, we will be incorporating Coldplay into our wedding here soon. Mm -hmm. um, we also saw Fleetwood Mac recently. They've always been one of my favorites, too, as far as, like, giving me the feels. I love Queen, and I love Fleetwood Mac for similar reasons. I fell in love with Freddie. I also am a big fan of Stevie, and so I love their music, and I also love the nostalgia of them. So Coldplay is different for me. I love them now, but I can't, like, picture myself as a little kid. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. Coldplay wasn't around. Um, but... Queen, I can picture myself as a. I took blankets and tied them around my neck, and I decorated a tambourine like Stevie, and like so. I have like ties to my childhood with both of those bands. Yeah, um, yeah, I loved the Fleetwood Mac concert we went to. It was amazing. I mean, it was probably the best concert I've ever been to. Yeah. Um, that. You know what? I have to say, and you, if you haven't had this experience or if you're not as into music, forgive me if this sounds um, shallow or whatever, but oh. that concert was life-changing for me. How it felt to be there right? and so close to the people that you've idolized forever. Because I've been to a lot of concerts, but never to one like that where I've seen a lot of great artists. Like I really like Tom Petty. 
I saw him several times. There's been other concerts that I've enjoyed, but I've never had that intimate experience. We were super close yeah. with in front of a legend, and I had just this crazy experience. And then again with Queen, and then again when we saw Elton John. Mm-hmm. We were all very, we were very close for all of those, and it was a similar feeling. Oh yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Like <clears throat> Fleetwood Mac, we were like seventh row. We were standing up practically the whole time and they were right there it was like they were in our living room we were so close right. it was amazing mm-hmm. elton john we got right up to the stage his piano and and elton john were right in front of us it was great and then queen we didn't even know it we were like 20th row we're looking for our tickets and we find out how the stage comes out we're front row for the end of the stage there, and that's where they did most of their awesome songs. I started crying, I think, from the very first note. I heard. <laughs> yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. So then this goes into some of our favorite celebrities we've just talked about, like, as far as musicians go. Um, Gaga is way up there for me. Oh. We've not seen her, but I'd really like to. Oh. Yeah. Um, I love, love, love James Corden. He is one of my people. I just, I love James Corden. I like Jimmy Fallon too, but I really love James Corden. Mm-hmm. We like Robert Downey Jr. a lot. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Robert Downey Jr. He's good. You know, we liked him and stuff before he was Iron Man. But he really made the Iron Man. <laughs> he made that character mm-hmm. in the, for the movies. Mm-hmm. Um, Who else? Most of our favorite celebrities are musicians, though. Yeah. I mean, I am a huge Star Trek nerd. I don't think I've ever said that. Uh, publicly? On, no. <laughs> out loud? <laughs> on the channel. I don't think I've, I've said it out loud and publicly. But I don't think I've ever said that uh, on the channel. But yeah, I got to meet like the whole cast of uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Got my picture taken with William Shatner. Um, and Patrick Stewart is like, he's really awesome. Like to hear him speak, um, some of the things that he says are very heartfelt. Um, he's a genuine person. Um, and my son actually went up. I, I don't know how old he was at the time. 12, 13 maybe, 12 I think. And he's like, I'm going to go ask Patrick Stewart a question. And he walks up, waits in line with all these people, gets up and like, you got all these people that are like, so in uh, episode uh, 329, um, what did you think about? And like Patrick Stewart's like, ah, I, I don't remember, you know. And so my son gets up there and he's like, what was, I know that you're a Shakespearean actor. What is was your favorite um, Shakespeare play? And it was, um, or first, what was your first? And so that got a whole discussion going as far as like teachers and how important teachers are. And I wish people that interviewed celebrities would ask them questions that we want to know. You know, like a lot of people, a lot of nerdy people, which... I can say that because we're nerdy people. <laughs> we'll ask questions like what you were talking about. Like, what were you thinking when you, blah, 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 you know, when yeah. you were Iron Man and you had to attack this, what was going through your mind or stuff like that? I want to know, like, things that we're talking about. What's Robert Downey Jr.'s favorite band? Or, right. Do you know what I mean? Like, those are the kind of questions. He's in a band, isn't he? He's probably his band. <laughs> well, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, those are the kind of questions I want to know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I went to that Star Trek convention and this guy was like, uh, were you frightened when the Borg were attacking you? And he was like, no, they're not real. Right. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> right. Okay, All so right. we do a lot of food on our channel, so the next questions have to do with food, some of them. Okay. What's your favorite kind of pasta? Ooh, I love... Um, Anything with Alfredo sauce. Just Alfredo sauce. Not with chicken. Not with, although there is that mushroom Alfredo sauce that I love. Mm-hmm. Mine is carbonara, 100%. Mm-hmm. 
100% carbonara. Um, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Plain white. Nothing on it? Nothing mm, mixed in? I don't know. It, it depends. Like, if um, I'm going to do ice cream, I like vanilla, and I can add stuff to it. This is kind of funny because that's been a change for me because when I was a kid, I was all about, like, double, triple chocolate and, like, fudge and all this other stuff. But lately, I'm like, just keep it simple and I like it. But, Do you know what mine is? Hmm. I mean, this is not a quiz. I'm just curious. I don't remember. John's usually the food goer and getter. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just curious. Food. This is for future. <laughs> He's supposed to get us ice cream. Um, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah, I thought you were going to say, like, that well, pecan one that you can't have. or I really like Moose Tracks that I can't have either. Um, I will tell you, it kind of depends on where it's from. Sometimes just a plain old soft serve vanilla cone from McDonald's is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, what's Wait. your favorite? Never mind. Go ahead. What's your favorite candy bar? Favorite candy bar would have to be the Milky Way. I love Milky Way. You know mine. It's another thing I can't have. Oh, what, Snickers? No. No, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yeah, we almost had to break up. <laughs> How dare you? Mm -hmm. mm. By the way, before you go through the whole roll of... I almost said toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's lighter. <laughs> but I meant paper towels. I mean, need another one. <laughs> nope. What Sorry, is, these are mine. Here. What is your favorite sandwich, or do you have one? Favorite sandwich? Mm-hmm. Well, there's so many different types of sandwiches. Can you narrow it down a little bit? Like hot sandwich. You go into a restaurant, you're going to order a hot sandwich. Hot sandwich. Mine is Reuben, 100%. 180%. I would have to say it would have to be a Philly cheesesteak. Hmm. See, I knew that about you. I was going to tell you what your favorite You were going to tell me what my favorite? Yeah. yeah. Um, what are some of our favorite comedy shows? Mm -hmm. Well, right now we're on a kick with friends because mm -hmm. we have to get it done. Oh, shit. we got to stop this movie or this video. we got to start about? watching it. <laughs> Beep. Did you notice that? <laughs> uh, anyway. Sorry, we're not monetized yet. Right. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> um, not that we never swear or anything, but in case there's children I watching. Uh, yeah, I've watched Friends before. We've talked about this. John was hit or miss, but now we're on a kick to finish it because it's going away January 1st, which yeah. is like a second from now. I mean... You can watch it on HBO Max or something like that, but, you know, no. We're close. Well, there's ten seasons, and we are almost at the end of season seven. We better get a move on. We're, well, it's pulling all later. Mm. Also, we've talked about Friends before. One of my very favorite shows in the whole wide world and the whole history of shows is How I Met Your Mother. Mm -hmm. Up until the last season. Um, really, re so going back to celebrities, I don't know how I forgot him, but Neil Patrick oh, yeah. Harris is one of my favorite, favorite, Neil favorites. And please go on the mass Singer. <laughs> please, <laughs> yeah. please. We always I mean, think you're on there anyway. We'll figure it out. Um, but, uh, How I Met Your Mother, I just, I love that show. Also, we really like, um, King of Queens. Oh, no, I don't. What else? You're right. Mm. Comedies. I feel like that's Comedy. kind of the main mm -hmm. ones that we kind of sit and watch. We were watching The Good Place for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We watch that for a little bit and then we get off it for a while and then yeah. we come back to it. There's a ton. So as far as dramas go, we can list these off. <clears throat> Mindhunter. Mm-hmm. Ozark. Mm -hmm. Oh, also comedy slash drama would be Shameless. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we watch? What's the Umbrella Academy? Yeah. 
Oh, we liked the boys on uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, we did. Huh? Liked it and some of it was disturbing. I loved it. I thought it was good, but I, yeah, some of it was a little. It's If you haven't heard of it, it's like a superhero show, which I love superheroes and all that. But so do I. But the like, superheroes are corrupt. Yeah, they're like corrupt and stuff, but it is very like gory. And That's why I say I'm like. Eh, not I, for kids at all. Right. Um. Okay. What is your favorite football team? Well, I grew up in Detroit, so Detroit Lions was my uh, NFC team. And then um, I like the Raiders, which are now going to be the Las Vegas Raiders. I like San Francisco 49ers. Always have. Always will. Has nothing to do. I said it three years ago. It has nothing to do with how they're playing this year. That's true. Always have been my favorite team. Mm-hmm. Goes back to Joe Montana and his Notre Dame days. And just kind of stuck with me. Also, college ball. We are Iowa Hawkeye fans. We Go live Hawks. in Iowa. Go and, Hawks! And, uh... Yeah, for a second I thought you were wearing an Iowa Hawkeye shirt because of the colors, but... Nope, it's Batman. Um, favorite store-bought cookie? Favorite store-bought cookie? I'm getting full, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting full, too. Store-bought cookie. Oh, boy. Because we talked about Christmas cookies and homemade stuff recently. This is a difficult question. There are so many cookies to like for so many different I'll reasons. Go. Yeah, Mine yeah. is maple sandwich cookies, maple cream cookies, my favorite, favorite, favorite. I love maple, mm -hmm. and those are my favorite. Harder to find, but when you find them, so good. I guess I would have to say for a store-bought cookie, my favorite would be the Double Stuff Oreo. Yeah, I was going to tell you that too. You don't know. Trust me. <laughs> Do I not get you exactly like... um? what you want like for snacks and everything we just had christmas i'm like oh he would like this or he would like that either his favorite things or maybe things he wouldn't think of yep um that he would just like to try maybe okay um favorite okay. car oh. favorite car make like uh, do we have a particular yes we do yes uh, dodge it would have to be dodge i know that some people may have some hate about that dodge 100 percent. yeah Mm hmm. Um. I'm a Dodge Ram. Not that there's not a lot of. We are car people, I would say. We have truck, but um, we are car people. We love to. I, I have always been a muscle car girl. Mm -hmm. Love the muscle cars. Also love the little sporty, like James Bondy kind of cars, too. Yeah. Um, but. I've always liked cars, and Dodge has always been a favorite. Yeah, I saw there was a Hellcat for sale up the road, and I was like, I could trade in the truck. We could make those payments. It would be fine. And then Laura had to remind me that we do have winter here. Yeah. And, and we could Uber. <laughs> right. We could Uber during winter. It'd kind of be worth it. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, favorite cartoons. Favorite cartoons, huh? When well, I was a kid, Flintstones and the Smurfs. When I was a kid, my favorite like was uh, Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man. I remember like jumping off my couch and like you know swinging like Batman or the Spider Man, mm -hmm. I like the Batman cartoons, like the Justice League. That was good. I always liked that, except for the Aquaman parts. Yeah, Aquaman. No. Well, I'm afraid of sharks, so I didn't like that part. Yeah. Okay. Favorite superhero and villain? Ooh. Batman and Iron Man. <sighs> yeah. Harley and Joker. For me. 100%. There you go. That's right in on your coattails. Those are I'm, ever since I can remember. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, I love Batman. Depends on the iteration, you know, some of them are better than others. Val Kilmer, not 
not so much. That is the thing I love about Iron Man is if you watch an Iron Man movie, you're getting Iron Man. Right. That's the thing I don't like about the Batman movies is who's it going to be this time? Mm-hmm. You know. Right. Yeah. Why can't they hold on to somebody? Mm-hmm. Um, and as far as the Jokers go, there have been a lot of them. If you have not seen the latest, run, hurry, go see it. Yeah, watch our uh, our video on we our review. Mm-hmm. Heath Ledger has my heart, but Joaquin did an amazing job. He did. Very good. So I mean, that was <laughs> disturbing, but... Mm-hmm. So Anyways. you say those are your favorite, too? Yeah, I mean, I love Spider-Man, too, as far as... Uh, Superhero, always have, you know. Yeah, you you like Spider-Man. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Wild animal. We're going to do wild and domestic. My favorite wild animal, huh? Hmm. I never thought about this one. You go first. I have two. Yeah, you do. Bears, Bears. and groundhogs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not even embarrassed to say it. <laughs> I love groundhogs and I love bears. They're both, like chunky and always doing stuff they're you know looking for things or i don't know they both hibernate i don't know they're so just cute to watch i love some of my favorite memories when i was a kid is my dad would always watch national geographic those kind of tv shows i love to watch a bear in a stream like there's nothing better than watching a bear swat at a fish, fish. yeah mm-hmm I've always been particularly fond of a mongoose. Mm-hmm. They're just little like, and... Ricky Ticky Tabby? They're little and like, you know, tough. Mm-hmm. Like a honey badger. They'll take out a snake. Take out a king cobra and Ricky Ticky Tabby. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a cartoon. Alright. It's from when we were kids. How do you not know that? I never watched that. Uh, uh what about domestic? Um... Well, I love dogs and I love cats. Yeah, but what if you had to pick one? Pick one? Right now we only have uh, cats. Yeah. Well, we have two cats. One is a cat. The other is a cat dog. <laughs> he's a cat dog. He does not know that he's a cat. And he begs for food and he follows us everywhere. And he, he gets excited about things. And yeah. The other's just a cat that lays around. Yeah, she just lays around. And meows. Yeah. Um, I love dogs, too. We don't have one right now. We'd like to get one, but we're planning a wedding, and yeah. we've been traveling and moving and all of that. Right. <laughs> what are some of our favorite hobbies? Favorite hobbies. We love to paint. I love to do wood- woodworking, um, redoing furniture. Board games. Board games. Concerts. Yeah, concerts, travel. Cooking. Cooking, we love YouTube videos. Cook. For now, yeah. it's a hobby. Right. <laughs> um. Let's see. Some of our favorite food that we make, oh, or we have made. Uh, we love smack delicious <laughs> sauce. Uh, I don't know. We love to do like um, what was that braised beef short ribs with mushroom risotto. With mushroom risotto, that's like our signature dish. I don't know. We made bulgogi. Oh, yeah. And homemade kimchi. We, I have to say, we outdid ourselves. That was delicious. Yeah, um, we made a mistake, took them over to our friend's house, and it got all gobbled up. And by we, we mean you. <laughs> right. Uh, caramel corn is one of our things that we make. We, make, uh, we oh, have yeah. a video on our channel about that. Uh, where we make caramel corn and we add rice cereal to it, kind of like a mix. And Oh, that's good. Oh, speaking of that, we should make some for New Year's. Yes, please. Um, let's see, what else do I want to answer? Favorite drink. Favorite drink? <clears throat> Diet Mondew. Mmm. 100% Diet Mondew. Zero sugar uh, cherry Coke. You also like Dr. Pepper, too? Yeah. Not my favorite. Yeah, but you'll drink it. What else do you drink? Root beer. I like root beer. But... Pretty much the cherry stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, I like this and new coffee, water. and oh, yeah, coffee. coffee, he's a coffee drinker, oh, yeah. um, favorite dessert? I would have to be tiramisu, I love tiramisu. So, pretty much I'm like, 100% it's this, 100% it's that, dessert, I don't know. <laughs> you know how there's <laughs> turducken at Christmas? I kind of want a, 
Oh. A brownie with an ice cream sundae on the top with a cookie stuck on the top of it. Oh, that sounds good. Like, that would be my favorite, like, love child of all my favorite, favorite. desserts. Favorite? Some kind of cakey thing. Yeah. Ice cream. Mm. Cookie. Mm-hmm. Um, sounds what's good. our favorite board game that we're playing right now? <clears throat> Ooh. We just got some new ones. Yeah, we just got some new ones from Christmas we've been playing. Um, I like uh, Ticket to Ride. And um, I guess kind of equal on likableness is uh, Quacks of Quacks, Quidlinburg. Yeah, Quacks of Quidlinburg. I like that too. Quacksalber von Quidlinburg. We just got Pandemic too for Christmas and I liked it, but I think it would be more fun with more people. We're going to try that. Yeah, we played it with two, just me and you. And we also got um, Trash Pandas, which is a new game that just came out. And that's a little card game that was kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, almost done. Uh, where's your favorite place? Favorite place? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> home. Mine too. Yeah. If we're not at home, I would say my favorite place right now that I've been to is probably Colorado. Yeah. That's where we're getting married. Mm -hmm. We've been there a couple times together. It's Cabin like, up in the mountains is amazing. Life seems at a slower pace. Maybe it's because we've only been there on vacation. <laughs> right. Yeah. But um, it just seems like quiet and beautiful and yeah, we love Colorado. Yeah, our cabin, we woke up one morning and there were turkeys surrounding our cabin. Yeah, John was in the shower and I was like, <laughs> or we're or just in the back. I don't know. But he, I think you were in the shower. Excellent. And I looked out the window and I was kind of like, uh. <laughs> yeah, and there's like elk walking around and you can mm -hmm. hear them bleeding and mm -hmm. bleating. 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 Um, what's your favorite thing to wear? Underpants. <sighs> <laughs> Shoes. I don't know. Like, you, like, John likes hats, but I don't like them. I don't like them as much. Yeah. I think if you feel free to tear me up in the comments about this, but I love John's hair, so I like to see it. Um, I don't know. Your you, sweatshirt. You, yeah. Kind of guy too. I like my uh, Punisher sweatshirt. Mm hmm. I flip. Mm, I like. That. Uh, you you've bought me like all kinds of stuff like nerdy stuff. Yeah, Batman T-shirt. I love that. Like this was getting a little. I wore it today because I figured I might be slopping stuff and everything, and I think I'm about due for a new Batman shirt. This one's getting a little worn. We are comfy clothes people. We like to just be home and be comfortable and mm -hmm. play games and whatever. So we are t-shirts and comfy pants. Yeah, I gotta wear a suit at work, and I don't want to <laughs> wear anything that's uncomfortable at home. Mm -hmm. Um. John got me some new Doc Martens for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They are from the future. <laughs> they are silver, and I really love those. Uh, a good pair of boots has always been. I have some like combat style ones that I really like. I've had Uggs. I've had I've had a million different kinds of boots. Doc Martens are my favorite. I love Chuck Taylor. So I am a shoe person, but I'm not the kind of shoe person that most women are. Like I'm not a high heel. I am a boot. Chuck Taylor, that kind of shoe person. I like Vans. I like yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. But right now, this is my favorite thing to wear. Oh, yeah. Now. There you go. Good good answer. Our last question. Okay. What are some of your favorite YouTube videos that we've filmed? Oh, boy. Funniest or favorite. So it can be for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, uh, some of mine have been our challenges. Like. Yeah. Bean Boozled was uh, probably not one of your favorite ones because you ended up getting like a ton of bad stuff if you haven't seen that. Oh, God. John was not lucky. That was horrible. Um, yeah, that's still one of my favorite though because it was fun to do. We did, um, along the same lines, we did Skittles. And that was featured oh, on... that one, yeah. We did Zombie Skittles, and it, a friend of mine messaged me on Facebook and said, I just saw you on CNN. <laughs> it was featured on CNN. Can yeah, you believe that? That was awesome. Uh -huh. um, I love the one where we're trying the Dollar Tree snacks, 
and we get like mm-hmm. the one is moldy. The other ones are those black bean protein bars. <laughs> those are horrible. But we think... could not stop laughing. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it was just uh, one of those things. Uh, we did a baby food challenge that was fun. I think our little challenges, we'd like to do more of those in the future. Absolutely. I like our house tour when it was new, mm-hmm. and then we did a holiday house tour recently. Yeah, we need to do another house tour, like... Um, Showing the whole thing. Yeah, after... Yeah. I mean, we, we still haven't completely moved in yet, so... We still have a bunch of stuff in the garage, but yeah. we can show maybe you everything spring. else. <laughs> we can show you everything else. Yeah, maybe yeah, spring. Yeah, I would say those kind of things are some of our favorite. The funny ones mm-hmm. end up being my favorite. Mine too. I like the one where we talk about us getting engaged, mm-hmm. and we tell that story. Yeah. That's where we went to Riot Fest, if you haven't seen that one. Yeah, Riot Fest. So, that's all we have. So, in conclusion... I don't think we need to eat for another three days. Either my tummy says so, and if we do feel like we need to eat, we don't need to cook anything for sure. Right. And you know what? I can honestly say that Beat Love Sauce went well with all of this stuff. Everything. And it was not spicy. And you know me, if you've watched my channel, our channel, (laughs) before I tell you like it is, I'll say, this is too hot. I don't like it. Yeah, Um, the mild was mild. Yeah, it was very mild. And I could eat tons of it. It's there there's just a hint. It must be paprika maybe. Right. Um there's some smokiness, but it's not Yeah, and what I, it's not spicy. Right. And it is the mild, so but you never know, right? So here's the thing. But I was hold on just a second. Yeah. What I was really like kind of concerned about because this packet was like full. And you only put I mean you only. <laughs> you put like a pound of butter in it and a cup of um uh, chicken broth, and like that's it. And how much? Coke? I Just had a little bit. worried that it would be like so salty. Uh, now it does have a lot of sodium in it, but the taste. I, I thought it would be like overpowering on your yeah on your palate, and it it wasn't. The only thing that I will say, so that's like twenty five dollars. Yeah, it was a bit pricey for a packet. Right. That's the only negative I'm gonna say. It's amazing. Um, but for a condiment for us, that's a lot. But here's what I will tell you. If we keep ours separate, right? Cause we mm-hmm. could dip, dip, double dip and yours is spicy and mine's not. Right. Then that's going to go a long way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I still got a majority of my bowl here. I tried. Me too. I mean, I got a little bit of rice in there, but I tried to keep it pretty much clean. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a little pricey, but it do, like I said, it does go... Right. Far. Yeah. I'm full. I am so full. Yeah, I'm stuffed. So, if you don't follow us on Instagram, please consider doing so. Over there, we are love and junk with no D, L-O-V-E, and J-U-N-K. Yep. And you should consider subscribing to our channel. And welcome if you are new and this is your first video. Maybe you came because we said be loves life. And if you did... I yeah. don't blame you because that family is awesome and they right. are doing their thing over there. Yeah, but feel free to stay. I mean, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. We try to answer some of these questions so you get to know a little bit about us. Yeah, and you know what has been one of my favorite things? We're going to be doing some uh, 2020 videos and New Year's resolutions and all of that kind of stuff. One of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel and where we are now from when we started is the amount of comments we're getting right. and being able to interact with people more. We actually love that. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Love talking so, to you. So, yeah. So, anyway, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And don't absolutely. forget to hit the little bell so you can be notified when a new video does go up. Mm-hmm. Now, if you love eating yourself sick. <laughs> I do. Not. Or... If you love delicious food, yeah. or finding out more about your friends, right? Um, or be love, yeah, or us, yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a big thumbs up, and that's all we got. I think that's all we have for that's today. It. We gotta go now and like put on comfy stuff. <laughs> yeah, and put, put on our <laughs> put all this food away. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.